What's up, y'all? It's Sound Nights here. Today, we're gonna play Fate's Day Night Remastered. Uh, the game just came out today. It's one of my favorite visual novels. I think it, it's what got me into Type Moon, uh, the whole franchise, as you can see, My Witcher Holy Night. Um, and I, it was in Tsukihime. It was actually Fate's Day Night, I know. <laughs> um, but I'm, I played the original all the way through, and when they announced they got a remastered version coming out, and then it came out the week of, I was electric. No pun intended. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and advertise the game a little bit, give it some more love, even though it's one of the most influential franchises out there uh, in Japan, really, not in you know, America. But I do want to advertise it. I do want to say, though, that the game was buggy when it first came out but it's been fixed now for english locale so if you're still worried about that it's been fixed already um as always japan can never get the, the english release right so that's how you know the japanese developer has been here uh but it's working now I actually recorded this once but uh i crashed uh and by crash i mean like a whole computer crash because i'm like running like 10 programs at once <laughs> uh but yeah let's without further ado let's go ahead and get the game started let me uh, let me Go ahead and move over and uh, get the game started. Uh, right. Click here. Do that. Um, and as I'm playing the game, I will just... I'm basically just going to read through for about an hour. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Uh, and let me go ahead and click play. Hell yeah. Now that's epic. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. And then I think it's going to ask us to yeah. I had to set up I had to set up some stuff, so uh let me go ahead and uh, get that set up really quick before anything else. So just we're on pause for a second. Please hold. All right. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and get it going, guys. Let's go ahead and, move and get started with Fate's Day Night. Type Moon presents The tip of the sword was like a flash of lightning, a spearhead thrust to skewer the heart. Even attempting to evade it was pointless. It was but a flash, too swift for the human eye to follow. <laughs> and yet, moonlight swept in to save me, and the strike that threatened to end me. The sound was beautiful, with a tolling of a bell. No, could be told, the sound hung over me, heavier than an iron weight. This beauty had little to do with aesthetics. The stark armor wrapped about her was like the frozen night itself. The ringing was not in itself pleasant. It was the sound of steel. The night herself was beautiful enough to make it into the chiming of a bell. Oh, it's, uh, she said the thing! Oh my god. Her voice resonated in the darkness. Indeed, the pact was sealed, just as she chose to serve me. I'm sure, in that moment, I swore to save her. The moonlight cut through the darkness. As if an imitation of the night, the storehouse regained its former calm. Time had stopped. The vision before me had lasted less than a second. Be that as it may, I will always remember the sight of her, clearly as if it were still happening now, even if I were to fall into the depths of hell. The faint slant of her profile, the serene, divinely green eyes. For a moment, time stopped, and her silhouette dripped in blue, swayed in the wind. I was struck by the pale blue glow. Her hair, 
as fine as a golden thread, was bathed in moonlight. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Ah! Fate! 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 <laughs> I want to yell really hard when I can't. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy, dude. I'm so happy. This is. I can't believe they finally made this is finally a fate that you can play on your PC without changing locales or or. Pirate torn in it somewhere on on some who know goddamn site. It's official. It's English now. It's on Steam. You can buy it. It's remastered. It's 16 by 9. Has a full new remastered soundtrack. Oh man. Ah, oh, the my my computer crashed again. Oh, my computer didn't crash. Let's go. My computer didn't crash. <laughs> I thought it crashed. Um, uh, I was so excited. My computer almost crashed. <laughs> Oh god, it's really lagging though. <laughs> it's really chugging. I wonder what's using so much. Uh, hold on, let me pause before I continue. Okay, I saw the problem. It was virtual desktop. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, there's, there's a lot of stuff happening. And, and, yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. No, I just, I can't, dude, this is amazing. Um, I have no words. I'm just so happy it's on PC now. Even though it was bugged at the beginning, but it's whatever. So we're gonna play about an hour or so. We're gonna, or at least so I'm satisfied. So that's uh, that's how it is. Uh, let's just keep on going. This happened ten years ago. I see someone who takes me back. He's tall with chiseled features. I've never known him to crack a joke. He rolls my hair affectionately. No, that's not what this is. It's more like he's scratching my head and working like a stubborn jar lid. Maybe he doesn't know how to control his strength. That's only to be expected. It's the first time he's ever done something like this. It's time for me to leave. You know what to do next. I answered yes in a somber voice. He nodded once, withdrew his hand, and stood up. And that's all. And I know this would be the last time I ever see each other. I've put it on my best to make him laugh with the perfect joke. I've been practicing punchlines in private in the hopes of finally seeing a smile crack that stony face. If I have one regret, it's that I'm never gonna tell him any of my jokes. Get the association of your debt before you become an adult. Any decisions after then, I leave it to you. I'm sure you can manage on your own. So he said, but I bet he was worried about me. He told me about our family's heirloom jewels, the gems passed down to us from our grandmaster, and how to manage the underground workshop. It was a rapid-fire course of subjects he never taught me before. He was a child, I realized that he probably would never come home again. There were, was a war. Not a war between countries, but between people. But in this war, there were only seven combatants. It might not have been fitting to call it a war, but having mages involved changes things. Seven mages from different factions competed, but I wasn't sure why. They killed each other using methods I didn't really understand. One of them was the man in front of me. It meant that he would kill, and eventually be killed. I'm sure he felt the ticking of his life's clock even more keenly than I did. Rin, before long, the only girl will appear. It's the duty of Tosak to obtain it, but above all, it is a path we are destined to walk as mages. And with that, he rolled my hair one last time, laughed. I never saw him again. My father's last teacher was one of the masters who participated in the Holy Grove War. He never came home. I bid him farewell, as a well-behaved daughter should. I knew I was on the verge of tears, but I didn't let them show. I loved them. He was a great father, and even greater mage. Majors are stubborn people. As far as I knew, there wasn't a more upsetting man in the whole world. As my instructor, he trained me. As my father, he loved me. So, I decided, I accept the things he left for me, and choose my own path. Rin, before long, the Holy Grove will appear. 
It's a duty of the Tosox to obtain it, but above all its path, we are destined to walk as mages. In the end, his final words for me were given as a mage, not a father. That's the moment I made up my mind. Yes. It's only natural for a prince to live up to her master's hopes. That's how I, Rin Tosaka, grew up after experiencing life's twists and turns. It's been ten years since my father went to war. I wouldn't say I've been looking forward to this day, but I'm a bit on edge. That was about saying, after all, that moment which was burned to my memory ten years ago will soon be upon me again. Oh man! Oh man, oh man! Oh, good thing that's not in the frame. Ah, uh, January 31st. Hell yeah. I just want to move my guy in a bit. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I get the ring, sorry guys. Let me do the there we go. Hmm, <laughs> I hear something. Ring, ring. The noise doesn't stop. It's such an infernal racket. It's almost as if he's here to avenge my father. I wish it would just let me sleep a bit more. In fact, it should. I stayed up into the early hours, deciphering my father's will, and I used a hell of a lot of magical energy to do it. I'm totally exhausted, body and mind. Ring, 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 ring. The alarm clock is dead to my complaints. What kind of machine makes a noise that seems like its sole purpose to remind you that you're late? True, but there's a time and place for everything. No matter how much Novachira I am, I should be getting to school on time, at least for today, if only slightly. Oh. <laughs> Maybe? Hmm? Doesn't that sound off? I peer at the alarm clock through sleep heavy eyelids. The hands point to 7 o'clock on the dot. I usually get up at 6.30, which means I can only use up my safety margin. Speaking of which, why is my brain so slow in the morning? I glare up the alarm clock for several seconds. I shut off the alarm and climb sluggishly out of bed. The morning chill bites at me as I cross the hallway to enter parlor. It is the final 7 a.m. of January. Winters in Fuyuki are relatively warm, but the mornings here are as cold anywhere. Even at home, my breath mists white. It's that much colder without everyone living here. Dumbo, dumbo. I turn on the heater and go wash up. Single living is so inconvenient in times like these. If only there's someone else here to wake up before me, then the parlor would be already be heated. I wash my face in the sink. I run a brush through my long hair and get dressed. A chilly morning in the frigid bathroom. The only thing to be said for it is that the cold water mercy beats the sleepiness for me. With a final tug on the rim and my collar, I finish getting dressed. All that's left is to have breakfast and go to school. The clock reads just past seven, so my morning rush feels a bit anticlimactic. Of course, I never do anything so uncouth as sprinting to school. Those like a family mom that thinks we conduct ourselves with confidence and elegance at all times. I need a drink of water. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh god. The hand tracking immediately died. Why did that? Okay. My ancestors must have been some high and mighty aristocrats that have been taught through the generations. The anachronistic mansion I live in is proof enough of that. Plus, the Tozakas are a line of spell weavers who practice what is known as Magecraft. Oh, my favorite. The, the magic explanation. 
here we go. We're not just an old family. We have an admirably storied history. In fact, I literally can't talk about it. The truth is, I'm a mage. <laughs> Who could even I brag that to? As the name suggests, magecraft is what most normal people will see as, well, magic. It sounds like some supernatural woo-woo, and if you think of it as just moving your fingers saying abracadabra, well, that's fine too. Just think of us as people who chant weird words and make the weird stuff happen. That said, we don't fly around on broomsticks. We don't shoot stars out of our wands either. We can do things like that, but there's no point, so we don't. We're pretty much heretics who lurk in the shadows of society. We're not allowed to draw attention to ourselves. Anyone who has time for that kind of thing would rather spend it on their research. Ordering humans might cause magicians, but that would be wrong. In fact, there are only five magicians in the whole world. Magicians are what we call people who can do something no one else can. They can accomplish feats beyond the means of modern science and perform genuine miracles. Similarly, magic is a label we use for mystics. Magical mysteries that can't be realized in any amount of time or skill. While magecraft, though it looks mysterious, is something anyone can do with enough time and resources. I'm a mage, and the kind of mystics I use are really magecraft, not true magic. Confusing, I know, but that's how it works. Also, modern civilization doesn't accept the assistance of mages. We believe in, manipulate, and study things that can't be measured, which puts us at odds with modern society. Above all, there's no point of anything we do. You'd be so much happier just going off to a normal school and becoming a normal adult than you would be studying magecraft. Human technology has accomplished great things. For the last few centuries, Magecraft has been playing catch-up to the progress of civilization. Nothing's impossible for humanity anymore. Miracles that could only be realized in Magecraft in the distant past have been reduced to common tools and appliances. Even so, Magecraft does have its benefits. Just as there are some things only science can accomplish, there remain heights only mystics can reach. If science is racing to the future, then mages are racing to the past. I think the Tosaka Grandmaster said that. Whether you're heading to the past or the future, your destination the same. Zero. Or uh, something like that. We can show the difficult topics for now. Philosophy is for the elderly. Ah, oh, God. I remember this description so long ago. Just like it was yesterday. <laughs> I finish my breakfast and pick up my bag. Ah, uh, yes, the famous pandit. I'm reluctant to take something so valuable to school. Why don't we a waste to leave it behind? I don't remember that the, the voice acting used just to be a Vita only thing, and then, of course, the, the fan edition thing. But now, now it's just here. It's just here. I think in the fan edition, they had a voice actor for Tosaka's dad here, um, which is the the cutscene we had a minute ago um but i don't know why it's not in uh in this game maybe the voice actor didn't get it or it's just not appropriate for this scene so i don't know that's the decision they made so <laughs> i'm not gonna question it they're the one who made the game oh, but i think one thing is certain is that if you know the name oratoria they translate her as altria but somebody will fix it somebody will fix it Is gonna continue. One could even say that it's on an entirely different level. I obtained the gem after decoding my father's will last night. It's imbued with ten years worth of my own magical energy. I've been told that the Tosak family has heirloom jewels passed down since the olden days, and this might be one of them. Tosaka may just specialize at conver conversion and flow of power. We channel our magical energy into Prussian gems whenever we have a spare moment. Simply put, I'm the gun and the jewels are the bullets. The other main thing I've inherited from my father is the magic crest engraved into my left arm. A magic crest is proof that I'm the heir to our lineage. It's like all the techniques of the Tosaka condensed into a tattoo. For now, I still owe my pendant, my father's keepsake, into a pocket. If you're 
できないことはないぐらいなんだし。It's half past seven. I better leave soon if I don't be late for school. Da, 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 da. That's how you know the translation is good. It has actually the things that you need up there, finally. <laughs> it actually translates this stuff. It,、uh, you know, the original, or I gotta say, the, the fan translation, while、well, I do appreciate it, and the retranslation, especially, the retranslation only goes through the first root, Fate. And then the second root,、uh, only the blade works. This goes through everything, and I think it has like a standardized quality, a really good quality, just like、uh, if you ever play Witch of the Holy Knight, if you can watch that、uh, that I've done, or, or Tsukihime on Switch and PS4 right now, which I'm waiting for to be on the PC.、Um, those are really good translations. So I think it's the same team that did this one. So I'm hoping it's really good all the way through.、Um, the fan translation it was done originally by Mirror Moon,、uh, which is not very good at all. It is acceptable. And then the retranslation was really good. Like, really, really good.、Um, but there's only for two roots. So hopefully, this is like this middle ground or, or even better than all three in a row. So、um, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for, guys. I weave energy into a brief form phrase. As a mage, I can't neglect the security of my home base. That still applies, even if I've never had so much as a single burglar, lost child, or stray cat wander to my home. Actually, I don't think the neighbors have even come over to say hello. I guess Tosanka's a cat person. I look up at the mansion that's been my home for over a decade. Uki is a strange city. One side of the integer section dividing the residential areas is filled with old samurai states, while the side I'm on has an abundance of mansions built in European style. Apparently, a whole bunch of foreign families immigrated here long ago, but I've never seen a single foreigner around. There's even a cemetery for foreigners in Shinto, the new part of the city, across the river, but it was built for generations for a generation that immigrated here. Maybe not. Make a mental note to ask the priest about it next time I visit the church. He's a thing, if not full of boring trivia, for sure. Mm, 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 mm. Something feels off as soon as I step outside. There's no trace of a typical morning bustle. At 7 30 in the morning, there'll be usually some students and workers on their daily commute. I guess just one of those days. Maybe everyone slept in. It's unusually cold today, so everyone must be snuggled up in bed. Even if that were true, it's strange that there isn't a single student on the street. At this time of day, you expect to see at least a school uniform or two. And yet, from where I'm standing at the school gate, it looks like a morning club's activities are just starting up. Which can only mean. Ah! Yes, we are awfully late. Ah,、uh, yes, another character that's not Tosaka Ren.、Uh, before we continue,、uh, I do remember a tweet saying that、uh, one of the characters is muted by default in the game.、Um, let me check that really quick. This is gonna be just for both of us. We can check if that is muted for some reason. Sound settings. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't think so. How do you know it's muted or not?、Oh, I see. Oh.、Um... Well, it won't let me. Ooh, this dub. Come on, let me check. <laughs> Give me a second, I'll check really quick. Well, I cannot unmute characters I haven't seen yet, so I guess that makes sense. But、uh, just be careful that.、Uh, Emi Ashiro might be muted、uh, on your first playthrough, so always check the advanced settings there. But yeah, let's take the settings for a second before we continue. This is so cool. Look, look at this nice background here, and then you got like 
the flow chart too, and you got the config. You can change the volume mix. I put for voice, of course. I think that's the best way to do it. I don't know who does normal. If you do normal, you're crazy to me. Um, but yeah, you can choose two-handed or one-handed control for some reason. No, there's only windowed and full screen right now. Uh, so no bonus window, sadly. So, oh well. And then you can change the speed solution. And then here's the advanced. You just take a look. You can look through there. You have so many different like settings you can choose. Master volume, volume mix, every single thing here. Even the save data settings you can change if you, I don't know, don't want to play hard mode or something like that. Uh, I usually just don't want to change anything really. Um, other than the voices mix, of course, right here. Um, and then you can choose between Japanese, English, and, and Chinese. You can change the controls here, like, what? Oh, actually, no, you can't change the controls here, they're, they're set. <laughs> oh well, but at least you can see them. You can say, let's go and save the game here. Hell yeah, there we go. Look at this, oh my gosh, it looks so nice. It looks so nice. You can load the game too, you know. Wow. It's been a long time coming, man. I mean, all right, let's keep going. Or light side, I turned to face a student who called to me. The girl who addresses me so casually is Aoko Mitsuzuri. She's my classmate in two way, and she has quite a history. She waves her hand in front of my face at the ask if anybody's home. Ako is one of my few friends, and she knows I'm not a morning person. She probably figured out by now that I'm still not fully with it. Oh boy. What's going on here? Father must have set the glass to go haywire once I took the pendant out of the underground cellar. にしないで。別に大したことじゃないから。それより、三津寺さんは今日も朝練。うん。うん。ああ。給道部は問題児も多いし、うまいのが一人減ったからね。4月の新入生獲得のために少しぐらいは見栄えを良くしとかないと。そ
We sip Japanese tea that's so hot it knows my tongue as we prepare our head for today's class. Classes. That drink is delicious and quiet. Winterly archery range. Sate, Tanto Chokunu Nikukedo. Sotino Joshua Dona, your Tosaka. Yaka again tired in another eyeball and meets Kata? What are you saying, Ayako? And she uses the occasion to ask me something completely ridiculous. Honto, Ikinari Honda in hiding on there, Hanata. What are you saying, girl? Sono Iburidato, Sotia Momitskatanda. Oh, no comment. どうさかが手を沸かすまではこっちも秘密さ。で、どうなのよ。その疲れた顔を見ると脈ありって感じだけど。こっちもノーコメント。あなたに隠しても同性見抜かれるか。残念ながらこっちはまだよ。いや、あ
その場合すでに好きな相手がいるから断ってるって話もありじゃないうわすっごい美だいいねそういうのロマンだなロマンだなアクトーナーズマーキングシーナンサムリーヨーサイトーズミンダーラビーナイスブルトゥーアドリーマイセーフアイリリキンアイネンディングフォムーそうね私もそう思う She's right. I know very well how cold I am. I'm not sure 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 how cold I am. ミツズリさんにもそういう世間体があったなんて意外だわええこれだけでも早起きした甲斐があったみたい<笑><笑>あんたほど筋金入ってないけどね私の世間体なんて遠坂凛に比べたら灯籠の斧ってもんよあんたの猫かぶりは擬態っていうより別人格のレベルよ別人格はいほらんディーズカライアッ Oh wow, okay. That's a good、uh, metaphor. I echo Sniss exaggerately. I empty the rest of the tea cup she poured me and brew a new pot. What? Tosa is a good one. I'm going to go to the next 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 one. I'm あら、肺骨量では三鶴さんに負けたわよ、私。あと、体重も三鶴さんのが上だったけど。Okay, they changed that song a lot. I must be a lot more calmer. That's like a m a t u r i o r Ding ding! I wonder if like, there's a way you can switch back to the old OST. I don't think so, right? Maybe someone will make a mod for it. Yeah, sound settings. Yeah, no. Just own the, the new ones. That is crazy. Holy. Uncle slaps the table. Yeah. Atasha should show that in my Tosaka no rival. Doing I Nakaria, Antani could take a car no toes and yo. Okay. Uncle sides eyes me with a huff. She has a unique idea about beauty. Beautiful one must walk the martial path. She's always going on about that. Not surprisingly, she's well versed in most martial arts. Kudo was a discipline she was least skilled in, so she joined the club and worked her way up to us. Captain, she's probably one of the top three people in our school you at least want to mess with. Ooh. Ooh. True. 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 <laughs> 藤村先生、三鶴さんは飛び抜けてうまいって言ってたけどあ,あの人がそう言うんならそりゃ少しは自信が持てるけどまあいなくなっちまったやつのことなんて考えても仕方ないかそうね藤村先生がそう言ってくれたんなら真面目に首相をやんないとまずいかそうそう噂をすれば影そろそろ部員がやってくるからでしょ私はおいとまするけど、ミツデリさんはきちんと仕様になりなさい。Man, I love the voice actors. <gasps> 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 I was thinking about it too. Like, what if they had a dub for this game? Like, an English dub? I wonder how, who they would, would, would do and how they sound like. I guess if you want to know, you would probably just go look at like the Fate Stay Night anime. Like, I think they have a dub there. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so I get up to leave. The first club member has been 
uh, begin the entering the archery range. Now, the first thing I was thinking, like, they did fix up the font. I was, like, this is like the normal font, I think, from the uh, this font up here. This is like the same font from uh, The Witch Holy Night, so the new one, so the font choices are definitely good. I think the only thing I gotta say, I think the only the textures go up to 1080p. I don't think, so if you have like a 4K monitor or 1440p monitor, it might not actually scale up too well, but I don't know. Maybe it's like bilinear or whatever, but I'm just saying some stuff. It's like the おはようまと。今朝は一人。はい。力になれず申し訳ありません。It's ありがとう。桜も I cannot believe this voice actor. Wait, hold on, let me look it up really quick. The voice actor for Issei is someone I well know for for some reason. The Issei. No, not Issei, fucking uh Shinji Mata won't chat. Voice actor, my anime list. <sighs> Is he the? Yep, Kamiya Hiroshi, who also done Monogatari for Koyomi. That's why I thought, dude, he he sounds so much different nowadays. Like this voice actor, like now in the later works. Earlier, man, he sounds so different. Shinji Manto from Class Two C, Grinzakne. He's the vice captain of the Kido Club and the darling of half the schools of half the girls at school. It's mostly thanks to his looks, of course, but he's also admired for his good grades, social graces, being kind to girls, and being or all heartthrob or something like that. I really don't follow that kind of stuff. It's just what I hear my classmates say. So, I hate you. I hate you, Mato. See, now they got me curious, because there are a lot of, like, like violence and sexual scenes um, later on in the visual novel. And I wonder if they're going to keep, like, the uncensored version or they're just going to keep it from real to new so I'm, I'm gonna wonder how that goes and especially the heavens feel movie has like a they they're they took a different route than Rota new i believe so i hope they keep like the, the they follow the same thing as real to well no i hope they they follow the movie because then it would match up for real to, uh for this original novel but i don't know maybe they just do real to new all the way through and it's always censored but yeah, Heaven's Feel, I would think I'd rather do the uncensored version. But I don't know. I think this is a definitive version. Either way, this is not the definitive version, in my opinion. Right here. Hmm? Oh, I'm not sure if you're going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Got you. Got you. <laughs> I hate you. I don't think so. 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 I don't 
スキャプターはそんなの構わないよ他の連中が気に障るんなら締め出すからさちょっと寄っていけってブラだから邪魔をする気はないって言ってるでしょそれに私別に弓道に興味があるわけじゃないから知らないやつの試合を見ても嬉しくないわなんだよ父さんか弓道に興味はなかったのか Yeah, this visual novel s t a r t really slow than I used to, I remember. But a lot of visual novels is usually they start off really slow. Other than like Song of Sire or something like that. But yeah. Hey. That the you know, ni, Hoka Goni Naruto talk a r a m i t e t a n a so you a k e k a n a I don't know what he's playing at, but he seems to have seriously misunderstood things. Nanda, Shitano Matoko. So creepy. I hate him. No good. No good. Hey, man, get away. Get away. Shindy starts closing on me, looking pleased with himself. I see the triumphant glint in his eyes, competing with that affable smile. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. どうさかあきれた。ここまで行ってもわからないのね。ああ。趣味じゃないけど仕方ないか。簡単にあなたにも理解できるように言ってあげる。いや、ゲロ。いい今とく。私は弓道に興味がない以上にあなたに興味はない
just before 7.30. I can see students doing their club activities on the school grounds, but there's hardly anyone indoors. Except... G oh! My boy! My boy! He always burns out my names like I did something wrong every time he sees me. あら、生徒会長。こんな朝早くから校舎の見回り。それとも各部室の手入れかしら。どっちでもいいけど相変わらず豆ね、そういうとこ。ふん。そういうお前こそ何を企んでいる部活動もしていないお前がこんな早くに
My school has a cafeteria, so only about half the students stay in the room. It's mostly girls that stay behind. The girls think the cafeteria is a bit too liberal with the seasoning, so... Ah, yes, my friends, asked Tosak. We girls tend to enjoy our lunches as a group. けど、ごめんなさい。私今日は学食なんです。今朝は寝過ごしてしまって、お弁当を作る余裕がなかったものですから。余計なことしましたね。余計なことですよね。Saikasa, <笑> looks good. Guiltily at her feet. Guys, I'm horrible at English. <laughs> Among the refined and well behaved students of Class A, she's the most demure. And for some reason, she's really nice to me. Are we bullied? Let her down as gently as I can and offer a genuine smile. Perhaps my smile made her feel better. So Agusa turns back to her table looking relieved. Oh, she's adorable. Yukiya Saigusa isn't drop dead gorgeous, but her smile always puts everyone around her at ease. Saigusa main somehow maintains an elegant air even when startled. Watching her reaction is always so common, but that doesn't mean I have the time to just stand there and talk. If I keep up a conversation with someone so disarming, the real me is about to show herself. Saigusa and I say some graceful greetings, and she returns to her friends. I see that she's eating with Kaede Makidera and Kane Himuro. Alright, wasn't Saigusa the track and field club manager? Makidera and Himuro are the track and field club's rising stars. Makidera is a bad influence with whom I go window shopping on days off, but I don't know Himuro too well. I guess uh, you get chi, so I get chi. Maki, so we can go to the restaurant and eat the food. No, no, the restaurant is small, so we can go to the restaurant. That's crazy. So we can go to the restaurant and go to the restaurant. We were just going to go to the restaurant and go to the restaurant. That's crazy. Nakidera takes hold of Saigusa's desk as she continues to rant about me. Despite her foul mouth, she actually wears a kimono really well. Like a Pishkaris Japanese beauty. Makinoji. <sighs> Makinoji. Sonoji. Sorry guys, I wish the Holy Knights in my. Meanwhile, Himuro's cool and solid demeanor are the quaint fold of that Makidera. Kaede <laughs> Makidera puffs her cheeks out in a pout, waving her disposable chopsticks in the air. I should believe that her hobby is collecting wind chimes? The world works in strange ways. At any rate, it's rude to Saigusa to stare at the three of them. Caught between me and the foul mouth Makidera, Saigusa looks like she doesn't know what to do with herself. おごらされたのは私で品物は鯛焼きではなくクレープでした無意識に事実を改ざんする悪癖次あたりに直さないと考えますよいえマジ怖えあの笑顔<笑> 
Maki Dara holds up her lunchbox lid like some kind of shield. I bid the Aunt Trio farewell and leave the classroom. And slide the door closed. Oops. Nakiya <laughs> orders something blasphemous for a girl. She's crazy. She even human? Or all deserves the same to her? If I'd known that her taste buds can't distinguish Fleur's 500 yen very, very berry from an 80 yen Taikia Edo Yana. Ah, damn you, Kaede Makiyara. I gotta say 420 yen! I must still be tired from last night. Get here, sounds like a plane, so I'll just buy some bread from the counter. Eat on the roof. Ah, yes. Our loner scene. Purchase my, my lunch and head to the unoccupied roof. Though it's different in the summertime, during the winter, the roof is a convenient place to eat that other students tend to avoid. It's too cold to hang out here during lunch, but that's a small price to pay for privacy. <laughs> Indulge in middle sandwich and hot lemon drink I brought from the cafeteria. It's a simple lunch, mean all the more delicious but the fact I can enjoy it up here in peace. I finish the sandwich and sip my warm lemony drink. Yum yum. I'm a little tired. It's hard to balance being an overachiever with avoiding human contact as much as possible. The saying goes, one should be accomplished at both the pen and sword. It's a point of pride, no, conviction that I should be at the top of the school. And I decided that if I'm going to be a student, then I'll be the very best. Like no one ever was. And I don't want people looking down on the Tosaka name. And that's how Rin Tosaka came to be the perfect, flawless student. On the other hand, my occupation as a mage is dangerous, so I shouldn't associate too much with other people. With normal people. When a mage is discovered by the public, she has no choice but to eliminate witnesses to protect herself. I'd rather not resort to that. That's why I keep my social interactions purely su superficial, out of necessity. I'm gonna hang out with Makadera on my days off, and I turn out invitations for more social people, like Saigusa. Zuko walking the tightrope of being number one student in school while making sure I don't become anybody else's number one. And sure, there are times when it tires me out, and I feel like real life is a drag. Finish the hot lemon drink and stand up. It's enough sentimentality for today. I'm gonna go back downstairs and become Thrun Tosaka again. Oh god. Class 2A teacher gives his usual spiel and leaves the room. So I know he's said exactly the same way on here. Tosaka, you are more tired. Eh, I saw やっぱりそうか。マトーのやつ今朝は特に荒れてたからさ。父さんに手ひどく扱われたんだろうなって思ってた。そう、迷惑をかけてしまったかしら、三津里さん。別に、マトーが下級生をいびるのはいつものことだ
残る席はあと2つだ早々にマスターを揃えねばならん Please cut straight to the point. マスターの権利を放棄するというのなら今日中に連絡しろ予備の魔術師を派遣するにも時間がかかる<笑> Liar, I bet you could find a backup right away. I bet you could find a backup right away. I bet you could find a backup right away. I bet you could find a backup right away. About a fight that be ready by the day. If you aren't, then retire, as you're in the way. Don't be expected, I guess. Today is the last day I can drag this out. Thankfully, I managed to decipher Father's notes yesterday. My battle preparations are in order. All that's left is to seize the right to participate, as he said. Let's do it. <laughs> 何百年も前から伝わってきた聖杯の儀式が The mages who take part in the Holy Grail world are called masters. It doesn't denote a rank of any kind, it merely describes their role. There's a condition to participate in the Holy Grail war. You must summon a familiar and cultist servant and form a contract with them. Regardless of your skill as a mage, you're not to be recognized as a master unless you command a servant. There's a clear difference between servants and normal familiars. The way you summon and use them are different. Mages who plan to fight in the Holy Grail War pair summoning countless. But. I don't only realize what connections to a servant. I can summon one, yes. In fact, I could do it right now if I wanted to, as well as form a contract. This town lane lines are under jurisdiction of the Tosok, after all. I'm the heir to the clan that administered the land for generations, so my performance will not take a backseat to some visiting mage. Although that is true, it would be awfully incompetent of me to embark on a figurative voyage without a compass. Servant is a symbol of the servant. If you want to be a servant, then you will be able to be a servant to the servant. You will be a In other words, I need some outrageously valuable item, like a, a sword or a piece of armor that servant owned, or maybe a bone or a heraldry that made it to them. The pendant I discovered in the basement last night is an ancient artifact of the highest quality. It's amazing all on its own. Still, it won't help me summon a servant. Alright, I made up my mind. I'd rather not get another earful and waiting until the last minute doesn't sit right with me. Now the real challenge begins. Tonight, I'm going to summon a servant while I'm in peak condition and acquire a saber by force. All right, let's do it. Late night. The clock reads almost 2 a.m. This is the period where everything lines up. My condition peaks at 2 a.m. sharp. In terms of limits, this will be my first and last chance, so I can't afford even the slightest mistake. I inscribe magic circles to the floor of the basement. Actually, it doesn't take a major, a major evocation to call forth a servant. Servants are invited by the Holy Grail. Masters anchor them to the world and supply magical energy to materialize them, but the servants are the one who chose to respond to the summons. The 
曽根銀と鉄石杖に石と契約の対抗ソニーは我が大使シュバイン王軍降り立つ風には壁を四方の門は都市王冠よりいて王国に至る三猿は循環せよ Wow, look at these descriptions. Woo! Still, I need to keep cautious and focus. Many circles are normally drawn with blood, but tonight I draw mine with melted jewels. I'm using half of the jewels I've accumulated over my lifetime, so I'll never financially recover from this if it fails. I'll never financially recover! Mitase. 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 It's almost 2 a.m. I finished drawing the semicircle passed down through the Tosaka line and face it with all my being. Alpha. I flick a formless switch within myself. With a click, I feel my insides turn over to something else. My normal nerves invert and become circuits for conducting magical energy. Rin Tosaka is no longer human. She's just a component in the execution of mystics. I melt from my fingers. No, I'm filled up from my fingers. The mana I'm taking is so dense, it overrides my bodily sensations. That's why I'm being destroyed at the same time. At the same time, I'm being filled. Running through my body is the power, mana, from the atmosphere. I convert it into different types of energy through my body's circuits. A mage's body is nothing but circuits. Circuits to connect the ethereal to the material. The mythical outcome we reduce is what we call magecraft. My body grows hot. It seems like horns are growing from my forehead. It seems like wings are sprouted from my back. It seems like scales are covering in my hands. It feels like there's a water pooling around my ankles. Sweat drips. Stab. Stab. Swords pierce my body. These are the stigma stigmata that reject my body, which becomes a circuit. No matter how gifted a mage is, we're only human. No matter. In a human body, the pain is something we must live with wherever we use Minecraft. The cycle doesn't let up. Beyond the agony, beep within the trance, lies the mental state necessary for connection. Pain wriggles in my left arm. To aid the caster, my magic crest autonomously begins an incantation invading my nervous system. The mana in the atmosphere I've taken in turns to blood. It's like molten lead, while my activated magic crest resembles my thorny nerves. With a crunching sensation, it creeps through my body like a thorny centipede. Within the hurt, I forget myself. At the same time, I can feel it take hold of me, like it's reached where I need to go. My hands are sensitive, hearing picks up the ticking clock in the parlor. Ten seconds left until 2 a.m. The power filling my body is unquestionably complete. <laughs> it's time to begin. I convert the mana clicked into magical energy for fixation. All that's left is to feed all the energy into an engine and the summing circle until my body runs dry. <laughs> Yes! My vision goes dark. What lies before me is now the fifth factor, said to be imperceptible to the naked eye. My vision shuts off, fearing what it might see.
奪えばここよ全ての悪を仕組む何時3代の言霊をまとう七点抑止の親より鍛え天秤の守り手よ Oh god. <laughs> ah, now that went off without a hitch. It feels so perfect, like I'm reeling in a whale with a fishing rod. Flawless. I'm positive I just drew the strongest card. I can't wait for my vision to return. It'll take a few more seconds, but when it does, I'm sure the strongest servant will. Be nowhere in sight. Nothing's there. The room doesn't look different at all. I spun that much to eat there until this ritual, only for nothing, absolutely nothing to happen. On top of that, I think I just heard something explode in the parlor. And then I bolt. My head's empty at this point, and I just run. I race up the stairs from the basement. Doors of the parlor are as askew with its hinges. There isn't any point in turning the doorknob, and since it won't open whether I push or pull, I kick it down and burst into the room. And the moment I enter the parlor, everything becomes clear. Everything is in tatters. Rubble is strewn across everything, as though something has fallen through the ceiling. On top of that, all sits a man cocking his head arrogantly. He must be some kind of criminal. But something graver draws my attention. The grandfather clock, having escaped destruction, tells me the time precisely. Now I remember. Right, of course. The clocks were an hour ahead today, weren't they? Which means it's 1 a.m. Still a full hour left until I'm peak spellcasting form. I can complete tasks as well as anyone else, but suffer from the curse of my genetics. When it really counts, I somehow manage to bungle things up on an unbelievable level. Can't believe my own stupidity. Still irritated, I direct my glare at the man lounging heartily on the rubble. The man in red mantle shakes his head in a show of exasperation. To add insult to injury, he mutters something about drawing the short straw. Oh, now I'm dead certain. This guy has messed up personality. And this. Is a servant? I thought familiars were shapeless beings, but this is just a man. No, 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 not just a man. Even from here, I can tell that it's brimming with a shocking amount of magical energy. Don't be fooled by his appearance. I'm staring, I'm staring at something that's undoubtedly more than human. It's a human-shaped ghost that's on a level of elemental. There's no time to be dumbstruck. That thing belongs to me. I need to get my head in the game. あなたは私のサーバントで間違いない。それはこちらが聞きたいな。君こそ私のマスターなのか。ここまで乱暴な召喚は初めてでね。正直状況がつかめない。私だって初めてよ。そういう質問は却下するわ。そうか。だが私が
主従関係は一番初めにはっきりさせておくべきものだもの。シャワーの愛を t w i t c h e s He isn't even bothered in the highest dissatisfaction with me. Wonder if it's because of the half baked sunlight. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. 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 それはあくまで契約上の話だろうどちらがより優れたものか共に戦うにふさわしい相手かを測るのは別になるさてその件でいくと君は私のマスターにふさわしい魔術師なのかなお嬢さん The servant smirks First he destroys my house and acts like he's the king of the castle Now he's the nerve that asks whether I'm worthy あなたの意見なんて聞いてないわ私が聞いているのはあなたが私のサーバントかどうかってことだけよ。Repeat myself, stealing my gaze. I'm not gonna be back down from this consenting jerk. Oh, なるほどなるほど。そんな当たり前のことは答えるまでもないと。実に勇ましい。いや、着替えだけなら立派なマスターだが。だから、順番を間違えるなっていうの。一番初めに確認するのは召喚者の務めよさあ答えなさいあなたは私のサーバントなのね I said for aggressively ready to pounce depending on his answer <sighs> 強情なお嬢さんだこれでは話が進まんな仕方あるまい仮に私が君のサーバントだとしようでその場合君が私のマスターなのかいやまああくまで仮の話だがあ当たり前じゃないあなたが私に呼ばれたサーバントならあなたのマスターは私以外に誰がいるっていうのよ I glare at this rude man giving my seething head a moment to cool down そうかまあ仮の話なんだがとりあえずそうだとしようそれで君が私のマスターである証はどこにある The servant b i t t e r l y ass marking all the while He's clearly trying to go me with these questions and losing my temper. Oko yo, Anata no master de ero akashite, kore de shou? I show him the command spells on my right hand, I chose to my left hand, I'm stupid. Hmm, <laughs> don't think I was born yesterday. Well, it's told me enough that I know what a command spells are, at least. Nattoku itta? Kore de mo mada monku o yu no? I thrust the symbols at him and challenge. But the lounging servant rolls his eyes. <sighs> his face darkens, looking at me more disgruntled. What? <laughs> 私が見たかったのは君が忠誠を振るうにふさわしい人物かどうかだったのだがあっうん。That makes sense, but normally you think of そう願いたいがそうはいくまい。レイジがある以上私の召喚者は君のようだ。He shrugs in mock exhaustion. Uh oh. I reached my bowling point. I'm not going to cool down in time. Don't worry, I'm your master. Alright, 
これが最大の情報だそれで構わないなお嬢さん<笑>ああ、sorry father。I'm a limit。そう。不満だけど認めるくせに、私の意見には取り合わないってどういうことかしら。あなたは私のサーバントなんでしょう。I asked in trembling voice. The respect over the command spell s i n c e my last spread attempt at dialogue. And yet. ああ、形の上だけはな。ゆえに。形式上は君に従ってやるだが戦うのは私自身だ君はこの家の地下にでも隠れて聖杯戦争が終わるまでじっとしていればいいそれなら未熟な君でも命だけは助かるだろう怒ったのかいやもちろん君の立場は尊重するよ私はマスターを勝利させるために呼ばれたものだからな私の勝利は君のものだし戦いで得たものは全て君にくれてやる<笑>どうせ君にレイジは使えまいまあ後のことは私に任せて君は自分の身の安全をあったまきたいいわそんなに言うなら使ってやろうじゃない Oh my god! No more mercy. I've got nothing else to f o r l e f t for a jackass like this. Masaka. So, no Masaka, you can't read it. Fiat Rock, I know your Nagia. I know your Skinnuts. I know your Sphere b r e a k i n Oh my god. I hereby invoke my command spell. And of course, with the laws of the Holy Grail, bind my servant in absolute obedience. そうマスターそんなことでレイジを使うやつがうるさいいいあんたは私のサーバントなら私の言い分には絶対服従ってもんでしょで、あんまり、right hand aches。three command spells。they all allow a master to issue three unbreakable commands to their servants。考えなさい君はこんなお And end that here today. That has been Fate State Night Remastered. If this one hour journey, let's see, one hour and 30 minute journey convinced you to play the game, I, this game is long. I think it said it's bigger than the Bible. So, if this convinced you to play the game, if you're interested from that one hour and a half sequence, then I highly recommend you check out the description down below to go ahead and get yourself the game for 10% off right now. Uh, yeah. And、uh, for all the models and everything that were appeared here today, that's also down in the description below. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I know I didn't commentate too much. I was just I was immersed in the game, man. I don't, I don't know what I'm g o i n g to do. <laughs>、um, but, but, yeah. So, if you enjoyed that, and I hope you do, go ahead and d o n the description below. Buy Fate Stay Night Remastered today or whenever you have money. And time to play the game, of course.、Uh, but yeah, all right, that has been me, Sound n i d e s And uh, yeah, uh, everyone, have a great day and a great evening and a great night. And、uh, goodbye. Bye bye.